Got this parsley box. I ordered it two days ago, I think. Turned out this is the stuff that... Is it me or is that blood on the side? Yeah, that is fully blood. So that is fully blood. So that's a great start. It might be meat blood though. I doubt it. Well, why would any meat blood be in something that you could store in the cupboard? Yeah, that's true. That's well, someone's blood. This tape looks old. You know when it starts going yellow and attacking us starts going. I'm already not into this box. Don't worry, there's no spiders in there. Just checking there's no blood. Okay, let's see. Oh, five pound off next order. Probably won't be used. Even though there's a curry dish there that looks quite interesting. Instant mashed potato pot. I'm already slightly disappointed. So that's, everything's powder form. <laughs> that's for, okay, so storing cupboard ready to eat. Well, look at it. Tell you now, I'm not trying at any of this. I am. I know you will. Because you oh, these, are two, these are the two wines. Oh, I'll be trying that though. Probably got blood on it. <laughs> uh, one for one Merlot and Sauvignon Blanc. You can have the wine. I am a little bit disappointed. I love how they um, kept that in there. Because I was hoping for vacuum pack, like, you know, space bags. What is that? Coco van. Oh, that's what the mashed potatoes for. I've just had those noodles, but I really want to try one of these now. Cottage pie, or oh, maybe the mash is for that. No, I can see the mash in that. I don't think that is mash. What is I'm going to try one of these now, I think. Lasagna, this is what I was interested in. Oh, that is gross. It's got nice bubbles in it. Yeah, it's that's, that, when I look at for lasagna, I... Lasagna. lasagna. <laughs> the first thing I notice is how many bubbles are in it. It's fucking weird. Right, I'm, I'm desperate to try one of these. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to try sausage and mash. Two and a half minutes. Are you going to try the lasagna? No, I said sausage and mash. You said you were really interested. Don't worry. Yeah, but like, if it's nice, I want to be able to eat it. Remove from the sieve, pierce the lid. Place in a microwave for. Who's got a 750 watt microwave? That's fucking piddly. Uh, Most people. 850. Well, ours is a thousand, so I'll put it in for. It says two minutes for 850. I'll put it in for two minutes that way. So. No, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna do a full review and eat it all. I'm just gonna taste it. Jesus Christ. Holy crap. What the fuck is that? I've never seen brown mash before. It's because it's got gravy on it, I think. I hope so. Well, can you pick that up at the camera? Mmm. Look at that. And it smells as bad as it looks. I like how it's got these fingers there. I'm just... Yeah, what is that about? I think they piped it on. Yeah, of course, yeah. I'm going to eat it without any... Chemically. No, just... Yeah, chemical vegetable flavour. Okay, I'm gonna try the mash first. Oh my god, it's brown all the way through. <laughs> yes. It tastes like soft. It tastes like soft. There's no real flavour. I don't know what that is, but it's not mashed potato. <laughs> the weird thing, the more I eat it, the more I like it. <laughs> it's not good. Well, that sausage is a... Uh, Fall apart. Cause hot. That is the single most tasteless thing I've ever had in my life. How do they get away with this? I don't understand it. It's I think confusing. It's old, I think it's old people was aimed at old people who can't cook for themselves. Yeah, but how is this physically possible? Wait, I was meant to get two sweet and sours. I didn't get sweet and sour, did I? <gasps> No, I think that's. I think you looked at another one. No, no you said that's the reason why. Can you see my packing order? That's the reason why I wanted it. Oh, it's uh, got a nice um, shit paper. Yeah. Sausage and onion, green mash, lasagna, crotch pie, whatever that chicken name is. The sausage and mash is what I got instead of um, sweet and sour. How fucking disappointing! Is that what you got instead? Is it? That's what I should have got. Oh, this no. sausage is horrific. What your friend gets? Oh, your friend will get the sweet and sour then. No, because that's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm trying to compare it to something. <laughs> it's like breadcrumbs, but they flavoured it with pate. I'm gonna put some salt on this because this has got no flavour. The texture of that mash is fucking weird. It's like what I can imagine chewing a pillow would be. It's like hard and soft at the same time. Well, there's only 220 calories per tray though. 
which I'm surprised at. I'm gonna put some seasoning on there, see if that helps. A lot of seasoning. It made it worse. It made it worse. They made them. That tastes like the smell of baby sick. I'm not going to try that sausage again because it made me feel sick. That's disgusting. Um, I from, feel sorry for the people that are getting this because what is on there? Obviously, it's never going to look like that. But that is a fucking piss take. Th that sausage is fucking That's weird. That's disgraceful. What's disgraceful is that this is aimed at old people. I hope and they you don't feel. Feel bad about yourself, Andreen. This is aimed at old people who don't know any better or who won't complain. I really wish I could like show you how disgusting this tasted. And I'm really easy. Like I, when I go to cook, I'm quite discerning. But when it go, comes to eating, like I, I'll eat a ready meal and be fine with it. But I can't eat this. It's genuinely disgusting. I don't know how they get reviews saying great choice of tasty meals delivered quickly and cook quickly. Well worth it. Five stars from me. They're probably having a stroke at the time they were writing that. <laughs> Fucking hell. You can expect a visit from Anne Dream with her gut and telling her to yeah. leave a five star review. Jesus Christ. So we thought, oh, we might as well try another one. We're trying the lasagna this time, just because normally even shit lasagna is quite good. But we thought while this was cooking, two minutes in the microwave, that's fucking insane. We thought we'd have a look at Trustpilot for them. They've got 2.5. They've got lots of ones, and I mean a lot of ones. But interestingly enough, most of those ones were for the sausage and mash. Literally, they said this is the worst meal, this is like, but it's always the sausage and mash. So I thought, well, let's try one more. Oh, jeez. That looks... That looks like the skin on my foot when I've got out of the shower. <laughs> yeah. You did like that one, didn't you? It smells like lasagna though, which is a great start. Better start than the last one. Yeah. This is gonna be turbo hot. Mm. Is there actually any pasta in there? Yeah. I don't know what you're chewing it for, there's nothing to chew. <laughs> okay, that that is nowhere near as bad as the as a sausage and mash. It it's honestly shit. It just tastes like bread, butter, bread and butter with a bit of tomato beef. It's really weird. It tastes like bread and butter, but that could be because they've used a really shitty. Well, they haven't used any butter for the roux That's for the weird. bechamel. It's not hideous, but it's not. To be honest, this is what I would have expected, considering this was about one pound something. It, that's what it is. It's UHT stuff, isn't it? That's the flavour. I kind of feel that everyone did what I did mm. and saw sausages and mash and thought, oh, that'd be quite nice. Ate that and just yeah, because people love sausage and mash. A one star review up. This is like out of ten. This is a solid two, but that. I mean, it's it's. But like one is, is like on the scale of one to ten, one isn't like horrific. So I'd need to go like negative for that sausage and mash. There's so much oil in this. Literally, I just looked down and I saw a massive sort of river of oil just collecting, oh, but it just like gave way like it was a landslide. Yeah. Look, it was a landslide. It made me look down because I saw it move. I'm gonna try it with some salt and some pepper. It just tastes, honestly, it tastes like bread and butter. Just get some of that oil up. I know exactly what it tastes like. Mm. Tinned ravioli. Mm. I think tinned ravioli is probably uh, a lot better than that. Only because you love it. Mm. But this tastes like tinned ravioli to me. I like tinned ravioli. The cheese one. That's actually quite edible. I will eat that again, just because I don't want to waste that food. Yeah, well you've got another one in here, so you'll have to eat it. Yeah. So the things that are edible, I will eat. I'll tell you what, I'm scared of trying that cockle van. Yeah, that's a dodgy looking one, isn't it? Oh, you've got another sausage and mash on there. You'll be happy to know. If anyone wants that, let me know and I'll send it to you. Yeah. I pretty much ate it all. <laughs> so about half 12 nearly one o'clock anyway i'm gonna end this little review with testing out the wine the the, the mills are just awful they're, they're they are like the if you think tesco's basic or asda or whatever you, you if you have one of those those are luxury 
compared to these meals. I don't think it would be difficult for them to actually make them quite delicious. Oh, I said delicious, better. Honestly, what do you expect for the price? <laughs> it's like, and um, what it is, perfect survival food, I guess. Do you eat them raw? I don't know. Maybe you can eat them raw. Anyway, I'm gonna try the wine. So we're gonna go for the Merlot, white or red first. We'll go for the red first. Then we'll go white because the red will, I think, severely impact. So I've chilled this Sauvignon Blanc. It is 12.5% and it's from France. So, Bottoms up. Oh, that's um. That's sharp. Oh, it's a. It's a. <laughs> The more I have, the more palatable it becomes, but it's 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 not brilliant. I'd say on a scale of one to ten of wines, so that's probably about a three. It's got no real flavour other than cheap wine. It's chilled, so it's gonna be alright. Another red, I'm not looking forward to this because cheap red always tastes like blood to me. Yeah, that's blood wine. Yeah. It tastes, but well, tastes exactly like smell of mince meat. That is disgusting. <coughs> no, I'd honestly say that's a one out of ten. So cheap. So for my first experience of this, I think it's parsley box. Was it parsley? I can't remember. Paisley. Anyway, of this brand, uh, I'm gonna say overall out of ten, I'd say don't fucking buy it. It's not worth the money. Like, I know it's cheap as fuck. I know I had it on offer as well. I had it offer, I got all that for 20 quid. So the normal price was probably about 30, 40 quid. In my honest opinion, the offer was a fucking rip off. It's just, I don't, oh. Thing is, this is obviously aimed at elderly people. I mean, what, what 20 year old or 30 year old is going out and buying those ready meals as part of their daily routine. If you are, I apologize. I don't mean to insult you, but that is, it's just, learn to boil a fucking egg, because <laughs> that is a thousand times better than what they're producing. I'm almost blown away, but I'm not. I have too much faith in people, because I always think, you know, oh, this could be good, it could be good. And I try it and I'm always disappointed. Next time I'm just gonna go, it's shit. And then when I try it, I can be pleasantly surprised rather than always going, oh, this could be quite good. It's quite interesting, trying it and thinking, this is dog shite. <clears throat> Ooh, pardon me. So yeah, after my little review, Bowman's go try it if you want. I suggest don't. But that's personal opinion, if I'm honest. Because I'm sure there's people out there who love it. I mean, they got some five star reviews. And as I always say, it's everything with taste is subjective. But my personal opinion is that that's awful. And the people who watch my YouTube channels are going to feel that that's awful as well. Just because I know what, especially this channel, you guys seem to be more discerning than a lot of people on the main channel. You're going to do what you want to do at the end of the day, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, stay safe. This is the way. Live long and fucking prosper. Chin out. And I'm, I wasn't enjoying the haircut now. I'm really getting used to it. And I'm kind of liking it. <laughs>